So, I got this new bench plane, a uh, Chinese made copy of the Lee Nielsen planes. Uh, Juma, I don't know if, if that's pronounced right. Unpack it and we'll see and check how flat the sole is, if the sides are square. And we'll try it out the box and then I'll hone the blade and we'll give it another try to see how well it cuts. First let's unwrap the cardboard box. Juma, Juma. It's a number six and a small jointer wrapped in plastic paper. And sealed in its own plastic bag with lots of oil and stuff to keep it nice. It's easy to see the inspiration, the Lee Nelson plane. Now open this and see what's inside. Seems very well. Juman number six. The casting seems nice. I'll wrap up some of the, the oil stuff here to see. It seems very well made at first look. Check it in a minute. One thing though, I think the main can you see that the main handle is actually rocking a bit. I'll try to take a screwdriver and see if it's just the screws. Okay, let's try. Tighten the screw. I think we'll actually remove the blade first. Very nice, mate. Details are nice. And the thick blade. And look careful. Let's see now. We'll remove the lateral adjuster. Now this one fits better. That's better, much better. The screws were a little untight. Well, of course, I'm still a little worried to over overdo it. I wouldn't like to crack anything now. Can you see all the oil? It's really well oiled and packed. It's very much like the Lee Nielsen with the nice wooden handles, the bronze castings, but well, let's see, I'll do some more unwrapping, do some more uh, removing of the dirt and oil. No name on the blade, but it should be Yes, yeah, three mil, three millimeter. The blade is three millimeter. <laughs> this is also it's a bedrock design. Very nice. What they have done so much to keep it nice and steady. Let's see, there's a little 
Oh, it, it's nice as a little paint on the inside, but that's not not nothing to do with the blade. The blade won't, blade won't touch there. We got the dip adjustment and the screws for moving it, um, closing it, the mouth and adjusting. It's very nice. Let's see if there's any how much backlash there's in the adjustment screw here. Well, we'll put in the blade now and see. This seems very nice. I will put on the lever cap. Saying Juma instead of Lee Nelson. Looks very much like the Lee Nelson. Right now we've got the blade a little. We'll just try to pull it back. Let's see how well the adjuster is. It's a little backlash. But only one we'll see and then how much will all the castings seem very nice and solid and completely uh, flat the is really well um seated and the blade will sit nice and tight without any cheddar the little uh paint I was talking about is that little showing right there but that is not on the sole and it's not uh, on the uh, seat for the blade so it's just has no uh, meaning for the performing performance of the plane it should be nice for shooting also big nice to to grab So, now I'll try to put the plane towards the line, put on the straight edge and see if we can see any amount of light showing. Actually, there is no light showing underneath it. Um, so, the casting seems very well. It's actually a heavy plane sitting in with a straight arm. Well, let's try to check the sides. Put on this reference. And we can again see there's actually no line. It's perfectly and it's absolutely square. This is, uh, I tried Lee Nielsen planes and they are nice, but this, this just seems just as nice and as heavy as the Lee Nielsen. I actually, well, the, there might be a difference in, in the blade. This is not an A2 uh, or, uh, blade, but a high carbon uh, steel blade. So, the how well it takes in cutting edge and how well it will uh, keep it is uh, could be a diff could be a difference. Let's try again. This is still out the box, just as it left the factory. through shavings and uh, the least I can measure is 0 0.05 millimeters or two thousandths of an inch that's okay for a factory blade 
A little honing on the water stones, creating an even better edge perhaps and well this is even this is leaving a, a fairly smooth nice surface. Um, so it's okay. I am really impressed. It's a nice plane. And for I think was it 129 euros? I think it was 139, but it, that doesn't matter. It's very cheap for a plane. Uh, really competing with the Lee Nielsen. I actually think they should be aware that uh, the Chinese planes are really close now. Seems that the uh, quality control in the factory where this is made is really good except for the loose screw in the handle. Um, actually I couldn't wish for any more uh, with this plane. So it's not the last Juma plane, I don't I don't know about that name. But it won't be the last plane in my collection of this uh this brand if they keep up the quality control and live up planes in a made like this. Very nice. So well now let's try to take it apart and see just the details. I think this is um, actually a real, com a really uh, competitor to the Nielsen planes, and at a fraction of the cost. Um, actually, Lee Nielsen should try to be aware that the competition is closing in. I'll try to remove this one also, if I can. So, the pins. Again, we can see the machining is okay. It's flat and nice, well prepared. Um, and with the frog, you can see all, I don't know, all the oil, I'll remove some of it. The casting is also very nice. Could actually, just for reverence, put on a straight edge. And in this corner, this is only this small area, there's a little light showing, and it's measured to two thousandths of a millimeter or 0 0.05. A two thousand of an inch or 0 0.05 millimeters. A little light showing here. The rest is completely flat, no light showing. Uh, I must say, see how well this is. Uh, how well this is a. Uh, there's a little room for a little play here for backlash when. Adjusting, but it's very, um, very well uh, running. And put back on. It is very stable. You can't do any rocking or anything. It's just precisely as it's supposed to be. The 
the wooden handles are nice. And this one is nice now that I've tightened the screws. Fits my hand nicely. I must say, I had my doubts. First when I heard about the Juma planes. I read some reviews saying that they are actually nice. I decided to buy one so to say to see for myself. I need needed a plane. Couldn't afford the Lee Nelson. So I thought I'll try this one and then I'll for the rest of you try to make a little review. I couldn't find any videos showing any of it, just some written reviews and the single picture. So I decided that this would uh, that I would do this little video review so that everyone interested can have a closer look at the Juma plane. If this performs as well as it seems now, I haven't held the blade but the plane is perfect. This might not be the last Juma plane that I have uh, in my collection.